What's up, guys? I'm Weston Mack, and welcome back to Reactions. Today we have episode two of volume nine of Ruby. I am extremely excited, and we're going to get right into this here. Like I did last time, uh, a little brief explanation of what I think is going to happen. With Team Ruby already being together, which I did not think was actually going to happen this soon, I'm thinking we're going to continue on what Blake said last episode, and we're going to get the Crescent Rose back and get Yang's arm back, and then figure out how to get out of the... Um, I keep forgetting the name of the place. I want to say Underworld. I know it's not that. Um, like the fairy tale land, uh, Alice Wonderland, all that sort of stuff. Either way, um, I think we're gonna maybe see Yang's arm get taken back, back. And also, I, I noticed this one little thing. The titles are alliterations. So episode one was a place of particular concern, and episode two is altercation of the auspicious auction. And I'm not gonna do a second take, that's fine. Either way, I am excited to watch this next episode, so here goes with the reaction. All right, starting in three, two, one. That's mostly just for me, so I can time it up. Oh my gosh, I have been jamming out to the song for the past week. They released it on iTunes like right after the episode. Um, I'm not gonna sing along. Not yet, at least. I need to know the lyrics better. Uh, but it's, oh, it's so good. That drop. The amount of analysis I've seen online of the intro so far, uh, people are losing their minds, man. <laughs> also, this character, which I think everybody's kind of codenaming Alice right now. Um... I am interested to see what she does in the future. She might become the guide. It's a little loud, my headphones. Um, she might become the guide of Team Ruby. That's that's my, that's my guess. Uh, obviously, we're going to see a little bit more of the fairy tale aspects as we continue on with the series. Also, then Among Us. If you watched my last episode, you would know. Actually. In episode two. Yeah, if you watch episode two of the Portal series, you'd know what this is, so. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm very excited. Here, I'll, I'll angle a little more so you can see me a bit better. There we go. I just realized I, was, I wasn't in full screen that entire time. Do you think I saw it now? <laughs> Here we go. Team Rumba. So are we just gonna stand around thinking about this in silence, or? I know this place is weird, but a fairy tale? I mean, that's impossible. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're, impossible, you have a talking mouse on you, but yeah, I don't know what's not possible and impossible right now. Seriously, entertaining this? Do you have a better explanation for what's going on? That's what I'm saying. Well, let's try to be more logical, shall we? We fell from the sky. Ruby made friends with a tiny mouse. <laughs> Blake and I got caught by killer vines, and uh, you got your arm stolen by by a what was it that you said? A talking raccoon riding on a purple wagon filled with trash. Yeah. Yes. That. <laughs> okay. You're in a fairy tale. I see your point of view. I am going to go over here now. <laughs> the animation is... <laughs> the animation is... Very anime and very good this season. The girl who fell through the world. Oh uh, yeah. I I think we're in the ever after. The ever after. That's what it's Wait, called. <laughs> that was make believe. It was just part of a story we all read as kids. It's not make believe. It's where I live. Can you tell us more about it? Have you ever heard the name Alex? An Alex. Is that a purpose? 
In the story, bro, Matt not every name has a purpose. <laughs> met with the hunter mice, got trapped in vines, bought a jabberwocker, and got her knife stolen by a talking raccoon. <sighs> yeah, and then she beat the Red King at a board game, met the curious cat, the rusted knight, and finally got out through the tree. tree. So what now? Do we go to the tree, look for Alex, Yang's arm? Ruby, you're still missing Present Rose. I'll bet the Jinxie Peddler has it. Who? Jinxie Peddler? The Jinxie Peddler? That's the only talking raccoon I know. I can't Do you? <laughs> Wise is losing it. Of course. I'll lead the way. Right to... Can you be awake for like more than five minutes, buddy? So is just ahead, right? <laughs> I've been thinking. If we're going to go to this town, we need to be careful. Alex didn't know their customs and ended up starting a war among the townsfolk. Mm. Trouble followed her everywhere she went. Her ribbons got well, short. Yeah, I forgot about that. She was kind of a mean person, right? She lied and cheated her way through most of the book. She was trying to survive. The morals of those old stories are so simplistic. Either way, <laughs> we need to tread lightly. That's true. <laughs> mm, the town's just up ahead. The Jinxie peddler always stops by our village before he goes to town. Do they steal stuff from you guys too? Steal? Never. They just take the things we're not looking at. Fair's fair. That's... <sighs> <laughs> Sounds like a legitimate business person. That's what I'm saying. How did they manage to steal your arm anyway? I was knocked out from the fall. When I came to, that sneaky raccoon had already grabbed my arm and ran off before I could stop. <laughs> <laughs> so would you say he caught you unarmed? <laughs> How disarming. I guess we'll have to catch you. About time. For what? <gasps> Nothing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll find a way out of here, and then we'll go. Ruby back is home. not worried about Bumblebee right now. Weiss, it's it's all gone. There's nothing left for me to go back to. Just like Beacon. You did the best you could for Atlas Weiss, but it wasn't enough. We hatched a crazy plan that put a whole kingdom at risk, and we don't even know if we saved the relics from... Maybe... John and Winter were able to get them out. Despite... everything. Hmm. Despite us. I don't know. I... I know that Penny... I know that was a lot to hear. The weather is definitely affected by Ruby's emotions, at least, which is interesting. She's specifically linked to this whole thing. A bridge. So this is the entrance to the other acre, you called it? <sighs> Yep. All we do is cross the bridge, and we'll be, well, wherever over there is. You don't know? <sighs> nope. Never been this far from home. Oh. Uh, maybe I have a bad feeling about back? this. I wouldn't have any idea how to go back. Maybe I'll live by this bridge. <laughs> and she's lost. <laughs> I'll handle this. Built in a house, my very first house. Gonna buy my purchase <laughs> in my best house. Would you like to come with us? Yeah, that's probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> Are those like little like toy people? Birthday party. <laughs> They're so freaking Just cute. Act like you belong, everybody. <laughs> I've always wanted to be long, but I'm still just small. Oh, little. 
Oh, there's the that's the raccoon is. thing. So what's the strategy? Just start roughing them up or what? It seems In like there's like guards and stuff. Alex had to barter with Jinxie for her dagger. Yeah, I think I'd rather hit him. Yang, maybe not. A lot older than I remember from the book. I am Jinxie, and these are the finest treasures of the Anchor. I don't see my arm. All of Jinxie's treasures are just other items in disguise, so that people think they're buying something extremely valuable. Mm. Okay. So, which one is Yang's arm? <sighs> oh no. What does your heart tell you? That's how Alex knew. <laughs> I mean, nah. that one looks roughly arm-sized-ish. <sighs> Ruby, there's something about that one. Oh, no. The diamond-studded rabbit! You! I have a feeling... That doll might be related to Penny. To bid without any money. I don't think there's any money in the Ever After. Jinxie just names whatever price he wants. What did Jinxie want from Alex? Her saddest memory. And her happiest. Sold for a hug. Oh. Hugs are very valuable. That's what I'm saying. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Second item! <laughs> a golden scepter! You! Me. Huh? The bidding starts. No, I was the first one to knowing what it is to feel loved. <gasps> A fair price for some, I'd say. Jeez Louise. <laughs> it's a bit you of a it's like to feel loved by Royal tall ask. Sold. Wait, that's my Wait. arm! Whatever it is, it's royal property now. No price is too high for his majesty's birthday. Great. We tried it your way, Blake. <laughs> no! Ruby, what are you doing? Bidding starts at enough hope to fill this jar. She doesn't have that much, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. You don't have enough, do you? I just said that. <laughs> Why, you little rat! Leave that alone! You can't touch it until the deal is done! Oh, no. Another mouse? It's a fake! Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, that 100%. I called that was that was Penny's one of Penny's swords she created. Hmm. I got it. Ruby, come on. Is nobody else reacting to the fact that's Penny's sword or are we <laughs> Bro, you're about to get beat up. <laughs> oh, he's returning the Gosh, <laughs> returning the hug, of course. Those people take auctions very seriously. <laughs> High five. Uh. High five. We're doing the same thing Alex did. We're ruining everything. That's your biggest concern right now? <sighs> I've read so many stories. She I is the person thought. you guys should trust. I'd be the moral of one. Hmm. Ruby? I couldn't explain why, but I... I was drawn to it. Hmm. Great. Now it's raining on just us. That's it. We're getting out of this nightmare. Alex went to the tree, right? Let's go. 
I don't think it's gonna work like that. In the book, we are not in a book. Why? And even if we were, we know how it ends. Oh my gosh. Right over there. <laughs> Stomps. Oh my gosh. And yeah, that's. That's why you follow the book. Stupid <laughs> tree! Oh gosh! Just knocked herself out. You can't get any closer to the tree that way. Well then, what do we do now? Oh my gosh! We've got my arm, but we still don't have Crescent Rose or the slightest idea how to get out. This way! Somebody sad! I'd be sad too if I ruined the royal birthday. These guys again. Blake, what did Alex do next? Hmm. She uh, went to the Crimson Castle and beat the Red King in his own game. Hmm. Heads up, <laughs> you treasonous birthday ruiners! Please okay. fight, 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 fight. We want to fight, go fight, to the fight, fight, party. fight. We want to go to the birthday party. Well, too bad, because we're going to... Oh, yes. <laughs> That's where we're taking you, as prisoners <laughs> as for stealing <laughs> royal property. What if I offered you something better? The weapon of a powerful warrior. Ooh, go on. Not just a powerful warrior. The most powerful to ever live. She was touched by magic. And she gave her life for thousands. And she took a message of hope to the stars. And she saw the world through better eyes. Hmm. Take us to the royal birthday and allow us to present this most precious gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. By royal decree. My royal Cut decree. <laughs> you heard her. We got a birthday to celebrate. These little like army guys are pretty hilarious. <laughs> Ruby, are you sure about this? Look, we may not know exactly what's going on, but for whatever reason, this place is putting us on a similar path as a book we all read as kids. Hmm. I say we follow it. And stop pretending we know what we're doing. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Is that the ending of episode two? All right. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I don't have a ton to say about this episode as... Um, I basically predicted it, like I said before. Um, but it is interesting how Blake's knowledge of the sort of fantasy world is going to come in handy, no pun intended, I guess, in this in this episode. And it's pretty ironic since we meet Blake in Volume 1 reading the, uh, I think it was the Tale of Two Souls book. So I think uh, it's going to be a very interesting season as we already have everything laid out apparently and they have to follow the storybook as we saw with weiss and how she nearly almost knocked herself out <laughs> when throwing that rock yeah i don't have a lot to say about this episode obviously i have my reaction from it um but yeah i mean the animation once again very anime-esque and is easily some of the best animation ruby has ever and rooster teeth has ever put out before it is so good um, a lot of reactionary gifts are going to come out of this, specifically from Weiss, and her little stomp, 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 and like the little like uh, thought bubbles popping up. It's <laughs> it's it's really good. So I think that's basically it from this uh, reaction. Next episode, I'll give my possible theories on what think what I think it might happen. Whether that's with the I thought it was going to be the queen. I guess it's the king. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens next. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace. Why, why aren't you gone yet? Oh, we, we're not going to do one, another one of those like, cut-off things. <laughs>